I love the sound of two steps in the morning. Nathan, what are we doing today? All right, so we're doing something a little bit different. We're at the Hard Ass 1000. This is Hall Ass Garage's event that's called the Hard Ass 1000. It's another drag and drive event. We've got the Fairlane here. Um, she's done three drag challenges at the moment. Well, two and a half. Two and a half. But we brought the Kiwi. The Kiwi <laughs> is here. Yes. And it's here doing it. Michael's got Keen as a passenger. Yep. And uh, they're going to do the Hard Ass 1000. Yeah. Do you want to run us through your, your trailer setup? Oh, my trailer setup? Yeah, yeah. I mean, one second, hold this. <laughs> oh, damn, is that a 6x9? This, <laughs> <laughs> this is all I got. So, where's your stuff going? I was just looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> There's, uh, there's still heaps of room in the back seat. So I hope you don't pack like a princess and have five bags. Like no. That. So anyway, Keen's come along with me <laughs> for the event because uh, I had a spare seat and I figured who better to come along than a drag racing veteran himself. Mm. Well, obviously working for Strip Machine, we run Drag Challenge, which is great, but we never get to immerse ourselves in it. When you run an event, as Harry's about to find out, you never get to really do it. So when this came up, I was like, I want to cover it. And then Michael goes, I want a passenger. And I go, cool, let's make those meet. And I'll actually get to experience an event basically as an entrant, not racing, but I get to be part of it, which is awesome. Sweet. Yeah. So it's going to be a wicked event because we really don't know what to expect. And to be honest, I reckon three quarters of the field here don't know what to expect either from this event. So it's going to be a good one. But anyway, we're at Heathkit today. We're Heathkit today. Then we're off to Nagambi tonight. And then we're off to Wilby for racing on Wednesday. Yeah. And then back to Heathkit for Friday and Saturday. Now, this <laughs> runs a little bit different to Drag Challenge where inherently you would do your race and then you would travel to the next track that day. This event's gonna be run so we race pretty much all day long and then the next following day is gonna be a dedicated drive day. There's no racing, it's just driving to a certain checkpoint, I assume, or where we're heading a couple, to. yeah, as many pubs as Harry can find. Pretty much. <laughs> and then racing the next day. So it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, there's a lot more slower cars welcome here as well too, hence why the HQ is here. It's just more about getting everyone involved in the sport and everyone having a good time. So, yeah, we're really keen to see how it goes. Nathan has a passenger as well, too. He's got his mate Ree coming along for the ride. So, anyways, um, let's get both cars set up. Yeah, we got a race meeting at night. Yeah, we got a race meeting at night. It just it just spun off the line. I guess this is what we call uh, no prep racing. No prep racing. Yeah, we're not used to that. No. Yeah, I think once some cars put some rubber down, it might be a bit different. So anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll go again. We're here all day. 
Oh, I think I'm gonna be up soon. Yeah, I think you're up. Right, it's my turn now. definitely hooked. I don't know whether she spun to be honest, I can't remember, but it felt good. It bogged a little bit, but it actually came back on pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that wasn't because it was spinning. Burnout was fine. I'm wondering whether I should do a second gear burnout because I had no issues doing a burnout. I don't think that was a low 15. I reckon it's probably another high 15 because I hit rev limit. I'm trying to see where to shift and I just need to see where my shift point is. Hey mate. Cheers. 15.6, infamous 15.6. Wow, that's the quickest I've gone since colder. So we'll take that as a win. Yeah, it felt good. Like it actually went, whoa, when oh, I was yeah. like- It jumped. And it was like it picked up the front wheel. It almost scared me a bit because I was like, I wasn't expecting it to do it. I also rev limited twice. Yeah, I know. Because I'm trying to see where it on the, because that degree is different to the sniper. I'm trying to see where the rev limiter is and I forget every time. Anyways, I'm gonna go again. A little cool off, go again. I just wanted to play it. I just wanted to get a pass down. But no, that's so much. I was happier with that. That's crazy though. Like I've done, I don't know. I've gone to colder so many Friday nights and I just cannot get a 10 there. And then, you know, come to Heath, get 4 for 10, you know. Shorter track. Shorter track. <laughs> <laughs> it's not 13.20, it's 13.10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, all right. Well, Nathan's going to pack up. He's done. He's one and done. Two and done. Oh, actually, yeah, I wouldn't class the other one. Is it? Yeah. So he's done. <laughs> He's gonna pack up and uh, he's actually gonna head into Heathcote to get some fuel. Yeah. Because we need some back. E85 for this and come back so that we all leave together everyone else. Yep. I'm still gonna do a few more runs. Right here. I've trapped. I've cable tied my dash to my dash. 
to see if that helps so I can see what RPM I'm doing so I don't redline it when I shift. So we'll see how it goes. This, we're packing up and you know, we're gonna get everything ready and then we're gonna head with the crowd to a pub with such a tea and I can't remember the name uh, we're gonna have a feed there and then we're gonna head up to Nagambi where we're gonna go to Nagambi brewery up there for dinner with everyone else so it's a cool aspect of this event compared to Drake challenge where we're all trying to stick together and eat together and travel together it's gonna be cool to see how that goes because it could be mayhem at the same time but it's also gonna be cool to sort of have that community the whole way not something that we're generally used to in in uh, dry challenge events for us. Ah, oh, fifteen six again. I swear it's the number that haunts me. Fifteen six. Yeah, fifteen six again. But I don't know. Did I spin that time? Yeah, I think you did a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It felt better though. Like it felt like a good launch. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll leave it at that. That's it for today. We're not gonna do any more because they're gonna close the lanes in five minutes anyway. But around a 15.6 my mile per hour was up by two mile an hour again. And my 60 foot's dropping continuously. It's just, um, yeah, it's just the launch. But having the dash up on the dash. I was gonna say, how did the zip tie fix go? Good, because I can actually see when I need to shift. So I can actually focus on that a bit more and that probably helps. So anyway, that's it. Yep. That's yep. all she wrote. Survive day one, so we'll pack up. Yeah, I'm going to pack up now, load everything up, see if we can fit everything in and go from there. Alright, all right. let's hit the road. Let's go. Let's do it. This place looks pretty sick, hey? Yeah. Looks like the sort of thing you'd see in the mirage in the desert when you're, you know, lost in the desert and you're yeah. like, is that water? <laughs> Stopped at our first checkpoint, which is the silos here, the silo art. There's also a hot dog van here, which is handy. Good little snack. And now everyone is rolling in. The whole pack.
All right, Nathan, what day is it? Uh, it's Tuesday, day two. So now today is a drive day, and we've got a massive day of driving. Yeah, so last night we pulled into Negambi. Yep. Ended up in the Negambi Brewery. Yep. It was a rather large night. <laughs> it was a big night. We've all lost our voices. Uh, Harry organised a live band at the brewery and got the brewery open on a, on a Monday night, and everyone yeah. hung out there, and it was good fun. Yeah, it was awesome. And uh, now the heat is starting to pop up. Yeah, we didn't film too much because antics yeah. and <laughs> now we're here so today is just we reckon today is about a 400 kilometer cruise route don't we yeah yeah it's a decent drive day today so he puts in plenty of stops so we should be pretty good yeah so we're filling up we'll go meet up with the rest of them uh, most people camped around the oval last night ready for a big day yes i am i am just looking out at the skies yeah it's uh pretty dark out there yeah and um we might be moving away from it as it's coming towards us, but I think inevitably when we hook back around, we might get a bit wet. Yeah. It's okay. We're, we're supposed to end up in Yarrawonga today, which is only like 140 clicks away, yeah. we're, we're told. We looked at it on Google Maps, and regardless of what way you go, just as the crow flies, it's only around 200 k's. So to double that to around 400 is a fair effort. Like yeah. Way. So we'll be going off the beat the track a bit. Absolutely. briefing for the day. We have a lot of stops. We do, but they're exciting stops. Move, museum, yeah. Shepherd. Yeah, no Been there a few times, very cool, so we got half my entry, so excited to check that out. We're kind of going to the high country a little bit. Yeah. Sounds, you know, body do, those sorts of places. Anyways, everyone's here now, and we're basically going to go on a massive convoy until we get to the Move Museum and go from there. Yep. Let's do it. at the Mood Museum here in Shepparton. This is the first stop for the day. The hot dog band is here as well too, so everyone's getting some brekkie, nice and healthy. And then we're gonna head through and walk through the Mood Museum here. If you haven't been here, it's definitely worth the drive down to go have a walk through, because it's a massive museum. It's also got a truck and bus section as well here. But they also swap the cars around on the regular. So, you know, you can come back in a month's time and you'll see a whole bunch of different cars. So, looking forward to going through today. It's very awesome going through with all these guys with us. We're going good. I've definitely put your windows up. Stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm about to race there to do that now. <laughs> I'll, I'll take this and you go do that. the mood museum definitely awesome to see plenty of stuff to see as well too uh, but the rains are here mug so we're gonna make a move now to the next stop it should only last about 40 minutes we've had a look at the radar shouldn't be too bad it's fairly heavy fine for me but for the fair lane well that's gonna be a bit sketchy but we'll see how we go we'll be fine we've done this many times before the old windscreen wipes in the HQ will get a bit of a workout and we're heading to another pub Yes. I don't remember what it is, but we've got the directions, so we'll let you know when we get there. Yep. So we have stopped for our second stop for the day here in Yaroa at one of the strangest pubs I have ever seen. The building is incredible, dilapidated, but incredible. 
but it is still a running pub and very popular by locals apparently so very cool to see here in the rain we see all things here on the hard ass 1000 but now it's time to hit the road and go to our third stop which again is a pub Driving through the hills, um, we knew that this was an issue from the start of the week, that the trans fan wasn't triggering, and we're going through the hills, Michael's all, you know, rah, 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 through the hills, and then I'm just like, oh my god, everything's hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I've pulled over, we're going to just jump. It was good the whole trip because it was raining, the trans cooler's just getting wet and cooling it. But now that there's no more rain and we're doing hills, it's just got like scorching hot. So we're just going to jump it with a piece of wire to get to the pub. Yep. So then we can um, eat lunch and then we'll figure out another solution. Yeah, so we're just going to use a bridge wire. It just means the fan's going to be on constantly, which is fine. It just means he's going to remember it when he stops at the pub, otherwise when he sells the battery. Which is what you want, considering we're doing that many pubs off. That's just showing off. That's reality. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we made the Bonnie Dune. The fair lane survived. Yeah. He survived, almost ripped its headers out, out, out of the engine block. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's some big bumps in there. <laughs> it's a bit wet, eh? Yeah, just a bit. Good weather to be a duck. Yeah, 100%. To be a duck. <laughs> Lucky I'm driving a land yacht. <laughs> we'll just back to Fairlane right into the river. Yeah, back to Fairlane in, we'll go for a cruise, <laughs> cruise across the lake, <laughs> throw a line in. <laughs> is that our rain coming or is that here That's already? Right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. So um, we're supposed to be camping tonight. We've elected to find a cheap <laughs> motel. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, that, that ground's a little wet. Yeah, and if you've seen the swag that I'm using is strapped to the front of the trailer. So it's copped all the spray off the wheels of the fairlane. Yep. So it's probably gone through that zipper. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be princesses and we're going to go to a motel. Yep. Maybe it's fine. Yeah, maybe it's <laughs> <laughs> So Keen's jumped in the driver's seat and he's having a crack and we uh, I don't even know where we are. We've been driving for about an hour now I reckon. Yeah. Easily an hour. Um, we're just going past Eddie. Yes, I was just reading that. <laughs> EDI apparently. EDI. How would you say that? Apologies if you live here. Yeah. It took Eddie. Here. Eddie. Um, we still have a fair way to go. We reckon we're probably not going to roll into Yarrawonga until, what do we say, like 5 o'clock, something like that? 4 or 5 or something like that? I reckon we'll be there just in time for yet another pub feed, is probably the, the uh, idea. Yep, I reckon. So, it's been all kinds of weather. We've had heaps of rain, lots of rain, and now it's finally cleared, so we'll see how we go. Fairlane seems to be all good. It's been good fun. Yeah, it really has, but anyway, we still got heaps of case to cover. See you when we get to Yarrawonga, I reckon. Yep. Alright, where are we? Uh, we are in Yarrawonga. Yep, so we survived the storm. It did bucket down, but we waited out and then we did the last, what, 40 minute drive to here? Yeah, not even. Yeah, not yeah. even. Yeah. We're in Yarrawonga. We're about to go set up the swags and um, hit the hay. Uh, you know, <laughs> doing it rough here. Uh, and call it a night. So, anyway, until tomorrow, where tomorrow we're racing it will be, which is an eighth mile. Eighth mile track. Yeah. Dirt track. It's, a, no, it's, it's, a, it's an airport, isn't it? I don't know what it is, but it's dodgy as. Yeah, and it, I'm really looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. good fun because it's grassroots racing. So anyway, we're going to start the fire and have some dinner and then um, the go to bed. So see you tomorrow. Just like NASCAR. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's so heavy. Yeah. All right, so it is now day three, and we're here at Wilby Motorsport Park, and it's right back to grassroots racing, I reckon. We're working in the, in the gravel in the pits. The track looks pretty cool. It's, a, it's an eighth mile by looks of it, but very basic, but I'm pretty excited about it. It's gonna be something very different. I am too. 
Everyone's rolling in now. We're gonna have some breakfast. Get everything prepped, ready to go. And just go for it. I'm just gonna be practicing launches, trying to get this thing off the line the best way and the quickest way. Nathan's probably just gonna power skid the track. <laughs> anyway, we'll get sorted. We'll get out there and see what we can do. Let's do it. Not again. Howie. <laughs> I just saw his face and just like. Howie just Howie. Did he do this? I think so. I didn't hear a big smack and bang. Yeah. But he doesn't like he's trying to make. There you go. Helmet's coming off. Nathan's in line as well too, he's further behind me, but we're gonna see how we go. I'm a little nervous, uh, just because of the burnout. I'm worried that we might do some damage, snap an axle or something on the burnout, because I don't know why I am, but I am. We ran a 10.41 and old mate next to me ran a 10.45. So very close, it was a really good race. He's running the 3.51 might I add though, but um, sniper as well too. I didn't leave off the two step either. So maybe I'll try that again, but it's good. Racing jitters are out of the way now. Now I can go and out. You know what this right. means too. This is, this is technically a certified 10 second street car right Yeah, now. 10 seconds right there. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> just on the 1.8. Uh, and that was a great race. We were neck and neck. I, even he said, I was catching him in second and then he just started to creep away from me. I was like, damn it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, good fun. I'm so excited, but so like scared. Oh, I was scared. But now that I got it done, I'm happy now. Yeah. What's your plan? I'm just gonna go for it like I usually do. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I'll, I might get out of it halfway down. Yeah, I'd recommend it. It, it, it goes from decent asphalt to like really rocky ground asphalt straight after. Yeah. So just beware of it. Oh, all right. You know it's not power crews, yeah? Yeah, I know. 
<laughs> it was sick though. It was good. Um, no traction. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I was expecting this. It's just fun, to be honest. Mm. Power skin is fun. I think I might leave softer though. Yeah. If I'm racing, if I'm racing Dave in his HQ Tunner, I think I'll leave softer. That way I've got grip and I can feed it in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we went at 10.24 that time. Bigger burnout, the burnout felt better, but I slipped the clutch a little bit too much that time. It took ages to actually get moving, so. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a delayed launch in a yeah. way. Yeah, I was really trying to slip at that time and I probably slipped it just a little bit too slow. Um, I need to find that in between, I think. I also tried a higher two-step as well too, because I thought I was going to try and slip it a bit more, but I might go back to where I was and just keep trying to get a bit quicker off the clutch or we'll find that in between anyway but anyway car did good fine yep. no damage we're looking at a little bit of a shootout here or something well i don't know whether we're going to get to the chance but yeah it might be which is great i get to see the fair lane taillights for ages <laughs> <laughs> i can sense someone's talking shit <laughs> well actually you'd be surprised he reckons he likes to look at your taillights so you know <laughs> Ah, uh, you know what? He's probably gonna. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it depends. If you don't, if you don't do your self-made traction control, he might get you. I know. know. You never know. But what would be interesting for you? I'll set you a challenge, and I won't tell him. Try and just power skid the whole way next to him and still win. Oh, I gotta get somewhat of a time though. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Jumped him for sure. Yeah, you 100% jumped him. Beautiful. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Don't worry, mate. That was a PB. Oh, look out! Was it? Yeah, that was a 991. Yeah. That was a wicked fun. That was awesome. I know he's upset that I've been on that. Nah, <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm on the two step. Like, I'm just gonna drop it and see what happens. You did beat me on the tree. Yeah. Your reaction time is better as well. Yeah. Yeah. It actually. But 177 k's an hour done. Yeah, I know. You know what? You scared the shit out of me when you came by me. Because oh. I'm cruising along. I'm like, come ahead. I knew you were coming, but all of a sudden you just hear the wastegate open. And I thought something went wrong. Yeah. It just went, Rah! and I'm like, something's broken. <laughs> so I might have even lifted because I shit myself that bad when you came by. And then I'm like, you're gone. I even say in the video, I'm like, you don't realize how quick that fair lane is until you're giving it everything and the fair lane just goes like, <laughs> Yeah, it was more like, ah, yeah, past you. <laughs> yeah, that was sick, well done. I mean, we knew what the that was a good race, race, but it was fun. That was, that was fun. cool. That was very cool. Handed in, and that's it for today at Wilby. Yeah, that's awesome it. day of racing. Yeah, it was good fun. Real good fun grassroots racing. Um, we're there about to close the pits in our lanes in about 45 minutes. We're oh, they have. Not going to get back around. Yeah, so we're done. Head to the pub, get a celebration of Palmer. Tomorrow is the drive to Heathkit, back to Heathkit Way. Yeah, back to Heathkit, yeah. So we're gonna do all that tomorrow. So see you then.
see you then. All right, start of day four, is four. it? Yeah, it's four, yeah. We got driver's briefing at Christie's Museum at 10. Yeah. Oh, street briefing. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. All right, let's go get some fuel and let's head off. Oh, perfect time to try to sell a car, if that's actually for sale. But look at the wheels, the wheels have like fins in them. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Righto, well, we are in Tokemol right now and we are heading off to where we're heading to. Lots of places. Yes, we are. Lots of pubs. Everyone's still cruising through town. It's become a mini hot rod show here in Tokemol this morning. And the locals are very excited about it. The woman it. at the bakery was very impressed. She was very <laughs> impressed. She's like, can you do a little lap for everyone? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to head off and keep cruising. It's a beautiful day today, good day for mm -hmm. cruising. Not like the other day where it was pouring rain, so it should be much more easier on the cars and enjoyable. Not that the other day yeah. wasn't fun, but just... Sunny but cool, man. It's not the racing or the pubs. It's filling towns like these with just cars like this. Yeah. The blue. Yeah, exactly right. Like, what's this? <laughs> yeah. Right. You know this reminds me of Jay Leno's garage. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we just stopped at the depot. Here in Denny. 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 And um, All roads lead to Denny. <laughs> it was crazy. It is very, very impressive. Definitely worth checking out. In one of the better museums I've ever been to. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, it was awesome. It was crazy. You walk around that for hours. But for us, we're now going to hit the road, head towards Tuachuca. Now that's where the last stop is for the day. We're not stopping there. We're not heading to Heathkit either. We're stopping in Bendigo tonight, as we usually do on the way to Heathkit. And we're going to stay there and head to Heathkit in the morning. Tomorrow is racing. So, see you then. See you then. Look at your sparkly t shirt. Yeah. It's easy to find you in a crowd. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> All right, Nathan, what are we doing? All right, it's the final day of the Hard Ass 1000. Last day of racing. Tomorrow we're doing like a shootout y thing. It's going to be a killer day. The weather has just come up for us. I love being back at Heathkit. Uh, I'm going to take the floor mats out and. Uh, floor mats out? The heavy wow. floor mats. Wow. Oh, wow. They're actually heavy, right? Because yeah. they're full rubber in there. <laughs> Got to say, cars have ran fine this whole trip. No cars issues, have ran perfect. Really. No issues. Fairly broken down three times, but no major breakdowns. Oh, I wouldn't call it a breakdown. Flat Just call it a maintenance check. <laughs> flat. <laughs> battery was dead flat. Yeah, battery went flat. We've had that issue before. That's all right. We'll fix that. You want to explain what's going on here, Nathan? Um, so the, the rate van is versing the flatbed truck because the flatbed truck's Comet broke. But Bruce Howie is broken too. So Bruce Howie's on the back of the flatbed racing the rape van. And if he beats the rape van on the back of the truck, then he's still in competition. <laughs> <laughs> we heard it's gonna get spicy. We're gonna do it yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Should be good.
notice that that thing is running. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hard Ass 1000. <laughs> Better. Second gear burnout good, but still no traction and then it bogs. Yeah, I think you need more RPM now. So no, there was heaps of traction. You reckon? Oh yeah, it's stuck. But it's just because it bogged. Tuna. Bullshit asshole, no one <laughs> likes tuna here. So we're looking at the log of the HQ at the minute to figure out what it's doing and we're getting our head around it a little bit. So this right here, basically <laughs> what we're looking at is our, this is our RPM on the two step. We go up to three and a half thousand and it spins and then it grips and boom down to 1500 and then we gotta climb all the way back up now everyone's telling us the way we fix that is more rpm from the line so i think i'm gonna add a couple 500 rpm to it and see what happens and then after that we'll add another 500 rpm to it and then after that we'll add another 500 rpm to it to try and stop it so that even if it does spin when it hooks up again which it is at least i've got i'm in the power band because 1500 is obviously not the power band the other thing that we're noticing too is that I'm running at wild open throttle, 32 degrees of timing. Everyone else is saying I, sh I could be running 34. So what are we going to do? We're going to listen to all these drag racing heads around here, and we're going to try 34. See what happens. And then we'll try it all again. But at the moment, it's an all down. Everyone's just chilling. So I've got some time to think about it and wait. All right, boss. What's the plan? Uh, try and get grip. Try and get a decent run. Yeah. A 10 would be nice. I need to end on a 10. If I don't end on a 10 of some sort, I'll be upset. So, yeah, 
see how we go. Yeah. I don't know, it's hot, we're in the peak heat of the day. I've actually got a nice shady spot right now in the pits. Um, but yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get it, but we'll see how we go. Nathan just did a 12.95. Oh, he won't be happy. No, he won't. What do you do, just blitz the tires? Yeah, he kind of did exactly what he said he wouldn't do before we, before he went out, which is um, take it easy. Really? He kind of just slipped and went, nah, stuff it, and kept into it. Well, I think they want to wrap it up at 4.30. It's, yeah, 10 yeah. past four now. Yeah, so that's fair. This will be the Hail Mary pass, I think. Yeah, let's see what happens. I have a feeling we're just going to spin, but it is what it is. Maybe try again tomorrow. We'll see. Fifteen six four. I think that might be the best today. Job done. Yeah, it's on. It's all done. That's it's it. over. Now we go to camp tonight. The week is done. <laughs> yeah. Got your sticker? Yeah, I got mine. It's gone on the toolbox. Not big car get down. That's it. How good, eh? So good. Oh no. That wraps up the hard ass 1000. Yeah. So tomorrow there is a shootout and there is more racing for those that want to stay and attend. Um, but the official race or official event ends now so everyone should be done everyone should have got their stickers now everyone's packing up and getting ready to camp tonight we're going to do the awards in a minute and that's pretty much it that's it you enjoy it loved it yeah well done to harry and the team everyone that organized this event it blew us away they i really didn't know what to expect coming into this but you guys have absolutely smashed it it's awesome to see some grassroots racing going on yeah i think so and just awesome to see Everyone getting involved. There's so many people that had never been racing before at all mm. and never thought they would go racing. But this is the perfect opportunity to bring something that isn't necessarily quite so fast, like the HQ, and have a crack anyway. So, I had fun. Mm. I had fun. Do it again? 100%. I wouldn't yeah. miss it. Yeah. I wouldn't miss any of them. No, that was um, good fun. So, Keen, did you have fun? I did. I did. Particularly, um, Watching Michael agonise over many changes he wants to make to that car. I won't <laughs> reveal those. I won't reveal those, but you know, typically he, he was the one waking up at 3am going, got a new idea for this or yeah. that. You know. Harrop, give me a call. <laughs> yeah. we, need, we need to talk. <laughs> they don't watch this. <laughs> Reed, you have fun? I did. Yeah. yeah. Good. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know how long this episode's gone for. I don't know what it looks like. We haven't even thought about how we're going to edit it yet, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as much as we have. Like and subscribe, all the usual stuff. If you want to buy some merch, head over to the website. Speaking of that, you may have noticed I've been wearing this around. This is a prototype design that we've been thoroughly testing to see if you guys want it at home. This is my racing t-shirt by Hackshop Garage. If you're keen on it, let me know in the comments and we'll get them made and we'll get them out to you. Anything else? That's it. I'm back. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it's time for a beer. Well, maybe not a beer. I'm, I'm done with beer, but something else of a beverage kind. More spicy lemonade. Spicy lemonade. <laughs> um, and yeah, we'll camp tonight. Uh, camp tonight, yeah. I think we all know what's happening tonight. What? It's gonna get rowdy. <laughs> Anyways, see you next episode. It's TikTok hack, I wanna see if it works. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, doesn't go it? for it. Oh, they lied to me! TikTok! We both tried it, because I was like, how do I cut this? And they're like, use your teeth. Oh. <laughs> TikTok has lied to us. Holy shit. You know what the last thing to go through that bug's mind was? It's ass. Yes. <laughs> it, it just had a rip of feet and you ruined it, so. Yeah. There's my competition over there. No, that's not your competition. Yeah, it is. That's not the 253. That's a 202. That? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Well, it's still my competition because he's running a 16. <laughs> Yeah, um, here's all the diff dumpers right here. Yeah, this is diff the dumps are not nice this week. I get why people do it. Thanks, Nathan. Um, <laughs> um, 
Look, this is my competition for the HQ. <laughs> It'll be a good race. You have to drive it with a monocle. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan. Turbo Fairlane. There we go. Um, that's a different way of doing your sockets, isn't it? It's very old. That's, that's farmer method right there. Yeah. My grandfather used to do the same thing on his farm. I mean, it works. But in fairness, yeah, you don't have to look at the socket anymore. So. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. So, old mate here said if he gets in a hack shot video, it's going to get Michael a set of 355 dip gears. Uh, Nick, have you met this fella here? Yeah. Today. Nice uh, to meet you, mate. Nick Branch. I'm, yeah. Uh, yeah, second in bottle shop brawlers. Yeah. 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 Congratulations, mate. Thank anyway, you very much. See you next time. Bye, mate. <laughs> Taking it serious now, that was a big burnout. Yeah. Oh, fifteen to seven. Drop for the win because I heard it's I heard it squeal its head off. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I thought the same thing. I'm like, nah. I thought I sat there. Yeah. It spun, but it stayed in the RPM. I was about to say I'm done. I was going, oh well. Now I'm going for 15. <laughs> oh, we're going again. <laughs> Well, it's the day after uh, the Hard Ass 1000. Yes. Some knobhead just decided to hot lap their car. Yeah. <laughs> so Nathan was too scared to run his car anymore, so he put it away. Not too he scared. He did one run, that was it. He said, I'm done with drag racing. I thought, well, uh, the people need content, so I'll get out there and I'll drag race. Even though we weren't filming it, we just thought we'd have some fun. And turns out the HU actually ran a 1527. So I got into the 152 after all that. And turns out what I needed was a burnout, decent burnout, and I left it at 3,800, just dropped the clutch. She spun, then she picked up and she fell back in the power band and I ran an awesome time. Did the same thing again and I ran about a 15.3.1 or something like that, so very close. Then, I was going to race old mate and I thought, oh, I'll try something different. These slicks, they keep spinning, it's strange. Maybe I'll try no burnout. So I did that. I also turned the two-step up to about four grand and I launched it. And you'll see from the footage now that Keen finally took for us. It just bunny hopped. jumped off the line and then gripped. It actually gripped really well, so I probably shouldn't have been doing it burnout this whole time. It gripped too well. Now this thing here is a wee bit bent. So, I bent an axle. So that's pretty much it. Look, it happens. I'm not too fussed about it. We do have spare axles, but now that I've bent it, I'm wondering whether you might need a set of billet axles. Uh, we're coming back. <laughs> And I was going to send the diff back to Cal anyway because we were looking at putting a set of three fives in this thing. Three five fives. So, more money. Buy some shirts, people. More shirts, stickers, fender covers, beanies. All that will go a really long way to help them fix this. <laughs> Anyways, that's that. <laughs>